Hello everyone. Uh, this PPT is for uh, uh, demonstrating the cloud computing overview. I am Riddhi Goyal and in this presentation I am going to explain the overview of cloud computing environments. So let's get it started. Cloud computing provides us a mean by which we can access the applications as utilities over Cloud computing provides us a mean by which we can access the applications as you Term cloud refers to a network or internet. In other words, we can say that cloud is something which is present at a remote location. Cloud can provide services over network that is on public network or a private network as in a WAN, LAN, VPN, etc. Applications such as email, web conferencing, customer relationship management, CRM all run in a cloud. Cloud computing refers to manipulating, configuring and accessing the applications online. It refers online data storage, infrastructure and application. Cloud computing is both a combination of software and hardware based computing resources delivered as a network services. Here you can see the architecture of cloud computing. The many users from different uh, remote locations whether they are accessing cloud by a desktop, PCs, mobiles, they can access it and their data, applications and infrastructures. Deployment models define the type of access to the cloud of how cloud is located. Cloud can have any of the four type of access, public, private, hybrid and community. The public cloud allows systems and services to be easily accessible to the general public. Public cloud may be less secure because of openness, example, email system. The private cloud allows systems and services to be accessible within an organization. It offers increased security because of its private nature. The community cloud allows system and services to be accessible by a group of organization. Hybrid cloud. The hybrid cloud is a mixture of public and private cloud. However, the critical activities are performed using private cloud while the non-critical activities are performed using public cloud. Service models are the reference models on which the cloud computing is based. This can be categorized into three basic service models, IaaS, PaaS, and SaaS. IaaS, Infrastructure as a Service, is the delivery of technology infrastructures as an on-demand scalable service. IaaS provides access to fundamental resources such as physical machines, virtual machines, and virtual storage, etc. Usually built based on uses, multi-tenant virtual environment and can be coupled with managed service for OS and application support. These are the few examples of IaaS. Open source, NTT communications, GoGrid, Trademark, Blizzard, at and PaaS or Platform as a Service. PaaS provides the runtime environment for application, deployment, or development tools, etc. PaaS provides all of the facilities required to support the complete lifecycle of building and delivering web applications and service entirely from the internet. Typically, applications must be developed with a particular platform in mind. This is usually multi-tenant environment highly scalable multi-tier architecture. These are the past examples. 
Amazon Web Services and Windows Azure is the most famous ones. Software as a Service or SaaS SaaS model allows to use software application as a service to end users. SaaS is a software delivery methodology that provides license multi-tenant access to software and its functions remotely as a web-based services. Usually built based on C usage, usually multi-tenant environment and highly scalable architecture. These are the few SaaS examples. If you are using any of these platforms or services, you are using cloud, whether you know it or not. Advantages of cloud are lower computer costs, improved performance, reduced software costs, instant software updates, improved document format capability, unlimited storage capacity, increased data reliability, universal document access, latest version availability, easier group collaboration, and device independence. Few disadvantages of cloud are it requires a constant internet connection. It does not work well with low speed connections. It, its features might be less, can be slow, stored data can be lost, stored data might not be secure. Cloud computing challenges are costing model, cloud interoperability issue, service level agreement, SLA, charging model, and security. Security is a major concern. Security concern arises because both customer data and program are resi residing in a provider premises. Security is always a major concern in open system architecture. Well-known security issues such as data loss, phishing, botnet, poses a serious threat to organizations' data and software. Security is to save data and program from danger and vulnerability. Some dangers are disrupt services, theft to information, loss of privacy, damaged information. Some vulnerabilities are hostile program, hostile people giving instructions to good program, bad guys corrupting and eavesdropping on communications. Common security requirements are confidentiality. It is ensuring that information is not disclosed to unauthorized person. Integrity. It is ensuring that information held in a system is a proper representation of the information intended and that it is, has not been modified by an unauthorized person. Availability. Assuring that information processing resources are not made unavailable by miscellaneous actions. Non-reputation insurance that agreement made electronically can be proven to have been made. I hope you get the overview of cloud computing and its security and its major challenges. So thank you.